Hi everyone. So, I don't know if you remember, but when I started this channel, or near when I started it, probably about three years ago or so, I made this solar power system. And of course it consists of solar panels, an inverter, contactors, um, charge controller, etc. Uh, over here I had sort of an automation system, which was an ESP32 with various different bits and pieces. Um, light sensor I had various other different bits like uh, a current shunt which you can just see there in the middle of the screen and it was good it had a web interface it, I, I learned a hell of a lot from it you can see the management console there just show you this but I haven't really used solar for a long time and that's because I suspected that the batteries were dead and uh, I've just been waiting for some time to actually pay some attention to the batteries and since that time when I noticed the batteries may have had some problem this has been shut down pretty much it is actually blinking so it's not fully shut down but I just haven't really used it anyway what this, what this um, video is about is the batteries incidentally this is where I stored the batteries on this on this thing here that I created, this bench thing. The reason why the veneer is peeled off like that is because one of the batteries had an overflow of sulfuric acid and it burnt the top of the the thing, <coughs> the plywood. Anyway, so what's this about? This is about the videos, the um, batteries, the videos. I can't concentrate. Um, now, when I bought the batteries, they were second hand and of course you can't expect perfection from second hand batteries I had about twelve of them or so, there's six there and the rest of them are here um, now at the time they were all working but I didn't really understand how to test them and how to make sure or be sure of their capacity but now I do anyway so with me being concerned that the batteries were dead or broken or whatever I've decided now, finally, to test them all out. So I've got some batteries down there, and I'm charging them all up individually with this little um, charger here, as you can see on the left of the screen. And some of the batteries I'm charging with solar power, which you can see here, there's six of them, all wired up. You can only see four, but there are another two behind. Now, after charging them up, of course, that's the first indicator of where it, whether it's working or not. If it won't charge, probably there's something wrong with it, probably dead or something. And if they do charge, then I drain them. So yeah, they're charging in two different ways, solar power and, and their little charger there. That's just so I can charge lots at the same time without uh, making things difficult. Now, to test the capacity, I've got my own capacity checker, which is the first time I've ever actually properly used it. So there's the capacity checker there, and I've got a video about how to make this. But it's my own thing, and it works. It really does work, and it's very accurate as well. Um, and basically what it does is it applies a known resistance to the battery over time, and works out the capacity that way. It samples it every second. So, this battery in particular that I'm testing here, this one, let me just zoom out. You can see it's connected to that. Let's have a look at its current capacity so far. There's the time running, so it's 2 hours 45 minutes. There's the current amp hour, uh, 4.5 amp hours pretty much. There's the current load, which is 1.6 amps. And there's the current voltage, which is 12.29 volts. And uh, there's all the other stuff there. There's the Arduino. And there's the the uh, resistor, high power resistor with the fan. Anyway, so what are my results so far? Well so far I've found that one battery is completely dead. It won't take charge, I don't know why, but it won't. I've also got another battery here which will take charge and it will drain perfectly well and the result of this one is 19.4 amp hour which is perfectly good for a a battery which is so old, uh, which I paid very very little for. Some of these batteries here won't seem to charge up, so that's a good indication that they're dead. Um, 
and I'll be doing another video probably to find out why they're dead. I mean, yeah. Now over here, I've got another battery which I've tested and it comes up with 1.4 amp hour, which is pretty much dead. Well, it's not dead, it takes charge, but its capacity is very low and, um, you know, its, it's voltage is right. I'll need to check the cells really and see if each cell gets 2 volts or so. But there's definitely some problem there. It could be that it's just sulfated, um, which is a common thing to happen with these lead acid batteries. Either way, the ones that aren't holding charge or, or have some sort of problem, I'll put them to one side and I'll try some other things on them to try and rectify them. Um, but, this is what I'm up to. This is what I'm doing. And, um, I just thought I'd show you. Anyway, if you have any ideas or you've done something like this before, then um, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.